Hey, what is up, guys? Rules for Rebels, and today we're going to be talking about whether this, the hot toy of 2017, is going to follow suit and wind up like this, the hot selling toy of 2015. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Not because of this. And no, not because of this either. And while some incredibly stupid girl in Texas did manage to swallow a fidget spinner and have to have it removed surgically, uh, even though she was 10 years old, you think you'd be old enough to know not to do that, uh, not because of this either, but actually because of, actually because of this, because of patents. So there's actually some buzz going around on Reddit right now that there may be some patent issues. Somebody may be claiming ownership of the fidget spinner. Stick with me for a minute and I'll explain the situation to you. What is up guys, rules for rebels. So as I alluded to in that little teaser there, our fidget spinner is gonna be the next hoverboards. And no, I'm not talking about our fidget spinner is gonna catch on fire. Obviously they're not gonna catch on fire. What I'm talking about is the whole like patent dispute regarding them. So if you guys remember when hoverboards first came out, um, you know, first I think Segway was trying to say that it was their technology, but it's different. So they, I, I don't think they went out on that. Then there was a whole thing where like Mark Cuban was claiming he owned the hoverboard patent because he had teamed up with, I forget the guy's name, a, a Chinese gentleman um, who apparently had invented it. And there was a whole dispute over that. Then I think at some point, I think Razor Scooter became like the patent owner. I don't know whether they bought it or whether they had originally invented it. Uh, but anyhow, uh, we saw what happened on Amazon. Uh, Amazon stopped the sale of hoverboards because of the patent thing, as well as the safety issues. But the whole patent thing was a big issue with it. I know for a fact that on eBay, you were not allowed to use the word hoverboard because that was a, a trademark term or a patented term or something like that. So you could say self-balancing scooter, you could say smart scooter, you could say two-wheeled scooter, but you were not allowed to use the word hoverboard. And if you even tried to, your listing would be blocked. If somehow you managed to get it to slide through, eventually your listing would be taken down. So the reason I bring this up is uh, I, I heard a, a buzz on Reddit um, that somebody's claiming ownership to the patent of the fidget spinner. No, now we're not talking about that lady who let her patent expire. That whole thing was, was a big joke in my opinion. Basically, if you've read the articles and if you've seen uh, like the drawings or the sketches or what her fidget spinner was, in no way does it even closely resemble what the fidget spinner is today. And so what she had was basically a patent on a circular shaped disc that spun on your fingers. So really, I mean, all she had was like a, it was literally a little Frisbee and you could manually spin it on your finger. There were no ball bearings. Uh, aside from being something that you spun, had no resemblance to what we currently know as a fidget spinner. Um, so even if she had the $400 to renew her patent, it wouldn't have held up and she did not invent the fidget spinner. I saw somebody on Reddit kind of jokingly commented that like, what the hell are, pe are people smoking crack? Like this lady basically invented some little sombrero that you spin on your finger like a basketball. It's not a fidget spinner. So that's not what we're talking about. But apparently somebody has might have a patent on a fidget spinner with ball bearings that spins on your finger and has like a plastic skirt over basically describing what we know as the fidget spinner so from what i've read on reddit and i've later followed up with you know i have some contacts in in china who i order products from and things like that and first i heard it was on reddit then i heard from a supplier of mine doesn't deal with fidget spinners but is obviously familiar with the shipping industry and everything else had said that UPS, uh, United Parcel Service, is refusing to ship fidget spinners because of these patent conflicts. So at the end of the day, if you order something by UPS, FedEx, uh, pretty much any air service, you're not dealing with customs and freight forwarders. Basically UPS or FedEx or DHL will handle that all for you. So I'm guessing UPS senses that there's gonna be some type of conflict and just doesn't even wanna be um, importing these on your behalf. Um, DHL will still ship these. Um, so if you order, they will be shipped by either DHL or I'm guessing maybe FedEx. Uh, but UPS is refusing to ship them because of these patent issues. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that these things are 100% patented. These things have to go through court and be kind of argued out and fought out and things like that. 
but it's looking like there may be some patent issues. Now I do know from talking to some suppliers that a lot of bigger companies are starting to license their name or their brand out to people making fidget spinners. So like, you know, Disney fidget spinners are gonna be coming out like Cars and Mickey Mouse and Mohana and some of these other characters and things like that. I know the MLB, NHL, NBA, et cetera, the, most of the sports leagues have just recently licensed stuff. None of these things are gonna be coming out till June. They just got them licensed. It's, they're just going into production. Um, so anything you see being sold right now is a pre-sale. So the one thing that kind of makes me doubt that there really is a patent dispute going about these is like literally just this week is when, uh, when all these, you know, everything from Disney to sports leagues and stuff like that are starting to give licenses to companies to make these. So part of me thinks if there were a patent issue, maybe they wouldn't uh, allow these companies to license their stuff. But again, at the end of the day, MLB, Disney, they're getting paid just to allow somebody to use their name, use their logo, use their characters. So I imagine they could really care less. If, if two days from now, after these companies have spent thousands or even millions of dollars making fidget spinners, if it comes down and there's a patent dispute and they're not allowed to sell these things, what does Disney care? Disney got paid. I doubt Disney's getting a royalty per unit. They're probably getting a flat fee. Okay, you, you can put Moana on your uh, on your fidget spinner, just give us a hundred grand or whatever it may be. So uh, I guess Disney, probably Disney, NHL, MLB, et cetera, they probably care less because they're getting paid either way. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. There's not a lot of news or rumors or anything out there about this yet. I went on the uh, USPTO, United States Patent Office website and tried looking up fidget spinners. I mean, it's so hard to read, you know, they have these long descriptions of what it is. Obviously, you know, way over my head in terms of like, does, does the current fidget spinner violate this patent or doesn't it violate this patent? So not really sure how these things will play out but I'm making this video for a couple of reasons. A, I know you guys are kind of interested in like products and fad products and e-commerce and just thought you, you, you guys would maybe find this to be an interesting story. But also fidget spinners are a hot toy. I know a lot of you guys are probably, uh, maybe if you haven't already are toying with the idea of getting involved with fidget spinners. So I'm not saying not to do it. I'm just saying beware. There is a little bit of a buzz online that there could be some uh, patent issues. And the reason I say that is if you order a thousand fidget spinners today what happens if two weeks from now it turns out there's patent issues sure you could probably hustle them on craigslist and offer up and do some local sales and sell them that way but if there is even a whiff of patent issues or anything like that i can guarantee you amazon is going to pull down all listings like that and not allow people to put up new listings ebay isn't quite as finicky or, or quick to do stuff like that as Amazon, but nonetheless, if there's any patent issues or anything like that, I guarantee eBay and Amazon will pull those listings down immediately. And what are you gonna do if, if you're sitting on a thousand fidget spinners? Um, if, you, if you're sitting on a thousand fidget spinners and all of a sudden you're not able to sell them on eBay or Amazon, which is probably the main platform that you were gonna sell them through. Sure, maybe you have a Shopify store and you're maybe able to sell a few here and there, but um, nothing rivals the amount of sales you can get through eBay and Amazon. So if you're counting on eBay and Amazon as being like the main contributor of your sales, just be wary. I don't know if that means maybe you wanna take your order from a thousand down to 500 or 250 just to play it a little bit safer. Not really sure how you guys wanna handle that, but I did think it was worth mentioning. Another thing, if any of you guys are drop shipping them, I guess there's very little risk with drop shipping. You know, you set up a Shopify site, you throw some up on eBay maybe. If there winds up being a patent issue and they wind up being removed, you know, so be it. You, you're not sitting on any inventory, you're only buying them as they sell. But just wanted to make you guys aware of that. This could be nothing at all. It could wind up being a huge issue and all the fidget spinners on the market are garbage and only one company who buys a patent or owns a patent is allowed to sell them. We'll see how it plays out. Nonetheless, just wanted to make you guys aware of it. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button below if you're not subscribed and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video.